What's up guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Philippe Oliveira and today I will bring you some updates about my 90 centimeter splendid tank. Tank was trimmed uh, eight days ago, so plants are now getting colorful. I have a lot of side shots. There is already uh, a lot of color off in that tank, less algae than before. And also I would like to show you how I usually maintain those crystal lily pipes. I have a special tool, uh, something that I made to be fast and also uh, to be more safe to clean without using any chemicals and also not to make too much pressure, allow them to clean easily and put them back in place. So stay with me. So let's start by the 90 centimeters planted tank. As you guys can see, the tank is already getting a lot of color. Stem plants, they already released new side shots on the place where they were trimmed. And also you can see from the some small spots there is ledge algae. Uh, what I have done is I changed a little bit the fertilization routine, not that much, because usually I do those macros in this tank every next week. And usually after trimming, uh, I just change the water. I still keeping the same lean fertilization routine by dosing only potassium. Sometimes a little bit of trace and iron, just try to replenish and recover some of the damaged uh, plants. But um, since I would like to give the proper shape and get a better result faster, this time, uh, two days after trimming and after the water change, I also added some nitrogen, phosphorus, and some magnesium and calcium. Um, those elements uh, can be dosed individually or can be dosed um, by use a blended uh, liquid fertilizer. So you can use Flourish and Flourish Advanced, or you can just dose uh, those elements by adding trace, uh, adding uh, Flourish Advanced, and then potassium. What I have done in this tank uh, it was more or less like the same fertilization routine, but I just um, uh, fertilize a little bit early the macros than I usually do. Because um, when I usually trim a tank, I want to keep the things very lean and very soft. So plants, they can release new side shots with time, no have the rush just to be trimming after three weeks more or less so i keep them very lean but this time and since i would like to show you um, the difference between uh, fertilizing in one way or in the other i have decided just to give a little bit more macros this time so you can see the difference in the tank after just one week of being trimmed plants are short stems are very very compact uh, than usually they are. Uh, you can see already for the shape and the color of them, uh, in some parts they are um, more colorful than the others, but this is not regarding the light or the fertilization routine, it's regarding the species of plants they are placed in its side. So from the right side, we have Rotala H. ara and Rotala orange juice. Some spots here and there of Rotala green. On the left side of the tank, we have Rotala rotundifolia, Rotala species uh, Yohai, and then some mixes a little bit here and there of Rotala echada, Rotala species green. And this is why you see different tones of colors, different intensities, and also this will bring you a little bit more uh, natural feeling to the layout, okay? Uh, as you see, the foreground carpet is still uh, too early because um, when you usually trim them, that too short because I want the foreground plants very, very short. Uh, it tends to take more time to recover than usually normal stem plants. I believe that after three weeks, more or less, after trimming, they will start releasing new runners and then they will become really, really short because uh, the carpet, uh, as you can see on the video, the previous video about the trimming and the maintenance, uh, that carpet that was probably trimmed for about uh, two months, three months, more or less. Uh, so it had become really, really high. In some parts, they look really nice because they make a transition from the foreground to the um, area where I have the microsorums and also the stem plants. But somehow I lost a little bit of the 3D because there was some shadow 
that I want to keep in between those places. And um, next time I intend to keep more or less just half of the size that I have uh, in this tank right now, okay? Uh, regarding the lily pipes, so let's talk about some serious stuff that usually uh, it ends up for being a big nightmare for every aquascaper and why. I think the major problem where usually we break the lily pipes is because it's too tight between the glass and the curve. And when we try to release a little bit the suction cups, uh, let me show you, trying to release a little bit the suction cups over here, this tends to pressure and hit in the side glass and then this part will going to break. Also, there is, depending on the tools that we are going to use to clean them, there is a lot of brush. So I have decided to make my home. Here's here the tip that I was going to show you, but it depends on this part over here. If this part is or not uh, longer, and when we put it inside, we'll make a little bit more pressure, and this is not good. Because if it goes, it slides perfectly, but then if it gets stuck here, when you pull them out, you're going to break it. So the first thing that we need to do is just to be very, very careful when you take the lily pipe from the tank. If you don't have some fast release uh, hose, some kind of um, stop or switch off the filter or like AIM stuff that we can put in between the hose that you can just fast stop and then uh, disconnect it and take the hose uh, with the lily pipes to clean. That also help you to release a little bit the pressure or the tension that we have on the hose. So you can easily take it off and then remove for a safe place just to clean, okay? But first, be sure that you are releasing a little bit the pressure on the suction cup. For this, you can even use a scissor or you can use a knife or even a credit card. You go there and when you release the suction cup without making too much pressure, be sure this part, because you see the level of this is not in the same uh, level of the lily pipe, this will have to make the space a little bit shorter and then, of course, when you hit with this in the side of your tank, this is where we're going to break in this curve, okay? So what I have discovered, and I've not discovered, but trying to make the, the maintenance a really bit faster, because when we are doing this professionally, there is always one thing that we need to clean all the material as fast as can, make it really clean and sharp, so sometimes we don't have the time just to put this stuff in bleach or soaked in bleach for two, three, four hours. But if you still have the time, if you want to use it, you can just put them or soak them in bleach. I use also hot water, not the burning one, but you can just have some warm water that you can place inside of a bucket, something like that, because the warm water will help to dissolve all the garbage or all the roots and everything that is inside of the lily pipe. So when you put the brush, it will be much easier to detach that from the sides of the lily pipe. So what I have done, uh, and these guys, you can just get it in any warehouse shop. This is a plastic wire. Uh, here we can, in Portugal, we use this just to pass cables through the walls. Uh, that is the different thickness of this. And uh, I just bend it the tip, put something that we usually use for dish washing, something like this, I will show it to you. You see, this is a pad for washing dishes, okay? This is the hard part, this is the soft one. I usually use this a lot for cleaning the glass of my tanks, when I usually do it by hand. Uh, if we have a lot of green spots, I use it, this. Be sure the tank is with water. Don't use this uh, if it is dry because you, you will end up to scratch the glass. But if you use this pad just to cleaning the glass with water, 
uh, you're going to see that all the green spots, uh, some signs of diatoms, uh, brown algae, everything that is a little bit more thicker and difficult to remove will be easily detached with this. And then, of course, we have this soft one, and this soft part uh, is nicely for every two, three days, if you want just to give a normal cleaning and normal maintenance in your tank, uh, you end up to use the soft part. And it was from here that I got the idea and say, well, if this detached the algae from the glass very, very fast, why I don't use this to clean the lily pipes? So with this, you, we can clean the lily pipes for outside, like this, you can just clean it like normal, but of course with water, go on a sink and then you just wash it and clean it from outside, whatever, and then to clean inside. Also, that's where I came with that. So if we took a little bit and peel out and peel this, this part, we can just cut a little bit and then just make it a little curve on this part to detach, we can just put in between a little bit of that sponge. And this is where this will get in. As you see, it goes very, very fast. It comes and clean. So this must be tight, but not that pressure, because if we need to pull it out, you need to get out very easily. And this is a thing, because if he makes a little bit of pressure, of course, always use it with water it must be wet not dry like i am doing right here otherwise you're going to scratch it however i don't think in the end for the crystal lily pipes will make any difference but if it is wet it slides much much better if you see from one side it goes very clean and since there is some pressure on it and uh, since it's not so soft the is a little bit uh, hard on the top this will clean very very easily uh, the lily pipes i'm going to show you from um, the ones that i have already in my tank just to take them out and just clean them in the sink so come with me
So as you guys can see, the just for being wet, the the wire is passing really really well, and all the algae are getting out so fast. Even if you want them just to uh, clean the, the the edge or the bottom part of the intake because it's a little bit dirty, if you release a little bit the pressure and you twist the wire, you see that on the tip or on the top or just close to the bottom part will start also to move and that will allow you to clean the lily pipe by um, one single piece very very fast and easy and since there is not too much pressure when you pull it out the wire we will not make pressure on the curve and then we will not break it. So I really hope that this tip will help you to clean and doing maintenance to your lily pipes and, um, and just be careful when you take them out or you put them again in your tank. If for some reason you feel a, a little bit of pressure when you are detaching it from the hose, just get a hair dryer. That's something that is a little bit hot because sometimes when we put the hose on the lily pipe, for the first time, it tends to get stuck, so it doesn't get out. And also, this one is one of the reasons when we pull it out, trying to detach it, we're going to break it. So the best way, use a hair dryer, quite close, not so hot, but the, just the part for the um, hose can uh, dilate a little bit, so don't be so tight in the, the crystal lily pipe, and then you just gently do this, okay? And then we'll get out. You're going to see the next times that we're going to put and detach the uh, lily pipe will be much easier to remove as I am showing right now in this video. which one will be placed and where. Um, usually, because this is already um, with the form or the shape of um, the diameter of the lily pipe, it's much easier just to press. So taking the ear from the credit card, just put it on place. I prefer to put first the hose and then the lily pipe, then put the lily pipe already in a hose and then place it in the tank. So in this way, I am sure that I will not break it, okay? Because it's already in place. If I put with a hose, if for some reason I pull it out from the cabinet, I'm going to break it. Also, I use here, as you guys can see, a kind of rubber, it's a silicone hose that allows to make some kind of protection on the glass. Not because I am afraid of touching it, but I have a cat and usually the cat comes here and put their uh, legs just to drink the water. I don't want any contact between this glass and this glass. Okay, so this is why I use here the silicone uh, just to be sure that is completely safe. And uh, because having a lily pipe broken with the water flowing um, is just one reason to flood your house. Okay, and now guys, just time just to open the security. And the fast connection uh, adapters on the hose. Be sure that it's tight, tight. And then uh, it's just time to plug. Uh, it's just time to plug your filter. Okay. Pipes are clean. Hose are too. Let's see from this side. This is a really a fast way just to do it. Uh, just be careful and be sure the path or the green um, path from the um, uh, dishwashers uh, is uh, a little bit tight just to be sure that we're going to clean uh, really really well see this is just some uh, hair you can see it's completely clean okay so um, let me show you how the tanks how the tank looks like
And this is it guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did so, just uh, give me a big thumbs up if you are new to my channel. So please consider to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell just to be notified about future uploads. I will be back in one week with more stuff something that probably you never heard before or maybe not but we'll see if you have any ideas or any subject that you would like to be discussed in this channel just place in the comments below so take good care of yourself and see you in the next video bye bye